welcome back to another video from HSTV. Now, as you can see by the video title today, we are going to be doing a note-taking review of Samsung's S22 Ultra. Now, if you've not already checked out my overall review of it, then please do go watch that first and then tune back into this video. So actually you voted for this video to happen because I put up a community post poll after my last review video and this is the next S22 Ultra video that you wanted to see. So here we are. Please keep an eye on community posts, follow the HSTV Instagram. I love to interact with my audience. Um, I think that's a very important part of YouTube. And if you are new to the channel and you don't know who I am, well, I am now going into my third year of medical school at the University of Edinburgh. And, you know, note taking and productivity, these are very important things to me, very crucial things to my routine. And I hope that the S22 Ultra can help me out with that. Now, right from the get go, when you remove your S Pen from the phone, you can start writing any notes and it's just on your black surface. So you don't even have to unlock your phone for this. It's literally anything that you need to jot down quickly and you can do it very easily. S Pen only has a latency of 2.8 milliseconds, which is three times less than the nine milliseconds of the Note 20 Ultra from a few years ago. Now there's a variety of tools that you can choose from on Samsung Notes, from markers to fountain pens and pencils and paintbrushes. Uh, the pressure sensitivity is fantastic and the writing experience is very natural. Now, the great thing about Samsung Notes is that you can customize and personalize your experience. So you can see here, I've gone for a black background um, and writing with a white pen instead of the classical white paper. And along with this, um, if I wanna use some different pens, I can actually create a favorites bar by clicking the star button on whatever pen color um, and width I want. And then from just a simple click of the S Pen button, I can switch between my favorite pens, which is really easy and convenient. Other tools that I also use is like this shape tool which is um, actually quite useful because obviously hand-drawn shapes are not that accurate so for straight lines, squares, triangles etc um, it is very useful and then actually along with this shape tool the lasso tool is really good just to um, position things a bit better how you want them to be and move them around make them smaller or bigger um, and so the lasso tool is also quite popular in my usage. Organization is also great on Samsung Notes. We have the option to sync um, with our account as well. So on my Tab S7 Plus, on my Windows PC, and now my S22 Ultra, I have synced my notes. We also have more customization options for every new note that you create as like default options that you can have with a range of templates, as you can see, as well as different page colors. Now, the syncing feature is incredibly useful because it means whatever PDFs I download, any lecture slides or notes I create on any of my other devices, whether that be my Tab S7 Plus or my Windows PC, I can have them on my S22 Ultra at no extra effort. And they're actually available offline as well once the syncing has been done. So I don't have to download anything and yeah, it's all there conveniently for me to use. topic of PDFs, you can actually import PDFs into Samsung Notes and edit them however you want. As you can see here, the highlighting feature is uh, quite handy and you can annotate things and have them saved. And again, all of this will be synced across your devices. Let's dive into a live demonstration of me making an actual note in Samsung Notes. 
In reality, I probably wouldn't use the S22 Ultra to take proper detailed notes or make proper posters. Um, the reason being the screen size is just a little bit too small for that sort of thing. So although the potential is there, the palm rejection is great. I prefer to stick to a tablet like the Tab S7 Plus for that sort of thing if you're working like long term. I see the S22 Ultra as a bit of a small notepad to jot down anything quickly or if you need to annotate something or highlight or you know sign something off it's fantastic for that sort of thing but if you're doing a longer project I would recommend a bigger screen size and I'm not saying that Samsung should make a bigger screen size on their phones because I think this is already quite large for a phone anyway does allow us to do another few cool things so for example here you can do the handwritten keyboard feature where it will convert it into text you can see that you know my writing is not particularly neat here I'm writing in a rush and it's recognizing it quite well um, from here you can use some cool air actions to do some lasso tools and take some screenshots that kind of thing and then you can actually edit and then save to your gallery as well so all quite smooth so far it's in your gallery. Now in Samsung Notes we have the option to import a variety of different things from PDFs, images, audio files, text boxes etc and so the whole ecosystem works very well. And you can take advantage of the large screen size so you can do split screen mode here which allows you to do a bit more multitasking and I do find this incredibly useful. that I want to point out is this translate feature so this is another one of those S Pen cool things that you can do uh, where it will allow you to translate in any language when you hover over any word depending on whatever language you want so uh, it is really nice and obviously there's a ton of languages you can choose from so it's another thing that can help to speed up your productivity. that is going to be the end of this video i hope this has been useful for you um to see all the note taking features that the s22 ultra has to offer i've certainly been loving using all of this and i know that when my university term time starts i will definitely be using these features a lot so yeah all good so far so please do keep in touch with the channel so you can see more updates uh any video suggestions at all leave them in the comments and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye